Welcome everybody to Swift Playgrounds. We're looking at nesting patterns and this is found in the Learn to Code 1 program uh, in the functions chapter. So nesting patterns, let's take a look. It says the goal is, is to call functions from other functions. So we have called a function in the past and now it wants us to uh, use a function within a function. Um, and so if we look through the directions here, it says the function turnaround directs your character to turn around and face the opposite direction, which makes sense. I mean, it says turn left, turn left. That would give us a uh, 180 degree amount of turn with two turn lefts being 90 degrees each. Uh, the function turnaround directs your character to turn around and face the opposite direction. You can call this function inside another function, solve stare, and call solve stare in your code to solve bigger parts of the puzzle. This process of breaking a larger problem into smaller pieces is called decomposition. Number one, define the solve stare function calling turn around inside of it. So it looks like, you know, if we look at the map here, um, Byte needs to go up uh, four sets of stairs to get the gems and Right now we have a function that says turn around, which is going to save a little bit of time, not much. It's just two turn, uh, two left hand turns. Uh, and then we are going to make a function that says solve stare, which then will in turn save a little bit of time so that we can just go upstairs, get the gem and come back down. So let's see. Um, when I think about doing this, I think, okay. And you know, there's actually a pattern here where we can do solve stare. And when we look at the bottom box on the left-hand side, it says solve stare. So they already put this in right here as if this is the only thing that is being used in the actual code right now. And if I try to run it right now, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do much um, because there's nothing, it's not gonna do anything because there's nothing in the solve stare function yet. So they want us to, let's see, go up the steps, which is gonna require a move forward. Right. And if I'm, you know, looking at where byte is, that would take me straight ahead to that first gem. And then I would be on the gem. So I would collect the gem and then I would want to turn around. This is where that function is going to be helpful. So I'm going to say turn around. OK. And next, that's going to get me to turn 180 degrees. But if I run it right now, let's just take a look at what happens here. So um, I go up the stairs, collect the gem and I turn around. That's it. OK. Now I want to go back down the steps, right? So that's going to be a move forward. And I'm doing all of this in the solve stair function and it's being called right here. So it's like, you know, I have this solve stair being called. This function, it looks to see what's inside this function. So it moves forward, it collects gem, it turns around, which refers to this function up top here, which does the two turn lefts, and then it's gonna move forward since I just added that. So let's see what we got here now. Okay, and so now I, I did come down uh, the steps there and I'm, I'm facing you know the other gems, well, the, the one gem ahead of me. So you know there's a couple of different ways that I could probably go about doing this. We have the one solve stair, so now I could just turn left and that would take me to the uh, the gem on my left hand side. I could say solve stair. Now here's the cool thing. Now that my solve stair is all taken care of, which basically gets me up the steps to collect a gem and right back down. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we get the first gem. I turn left, go up and get the second gem because of the solve stair function being correct. So now I could just turn left again right and i could look to my left which is going to be the gem on the left hand side and do solve stair which is going to take care of the next gem so let's see i'm running it again so we got the first one here comes the second one we're solving that stair here comes the turn left and here comes the solve stair okay and now there's just one more and it looks like it would be another left hand turn and another solve stair now Listen, there are multiple ways that I could have went about solving this one. I, I could have even made this a little bit easier by maybe including a left hand turn uh, in the solve stare function. And, you know, there's always lots of different ways to code. 
uh, and to program. And you know, this is just one way that I decided to do it this time. Could have done it. You could have done it differently. Uh, but this will get the job done. And let's see if we get the uh, the green check mark here at the end. So kind of, it came back down, and we got the incredible job. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.